Yo, what's good everyone, it's Nay, and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about a game that's pretty popular right now, and it's called Word Hunt. Pretty much, it's an iMessage game where you're given a board of 4x4 letters, and you just drag your finger along and make as many words as you can in like, under a minute. And the more words that you're able to make, the more points you get, and the longer the words are that you make, the higher your score will be. So yeah, like I said, this game is pretty popular right now and you can see it a lot on like Tinder because I guess girls really like playing and you can get their number or whatever. But the problem is that I'm actually complete ass at this game. So we're just gonna have to make a solver. And what I mean by solver is that we're gonna be making a program so that when we give it the board, it's gonna give back a list of all the optimum solutions. So this means that it's gonna be giving us like a list of ridiculously long words that a normal human probably wouldn't be able to come up with and this way we're pretty much gonna be able to win every game. Okay yeah that's pretty much it, let's head right in. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is find a dictionary so we could find all our valid words. So I'm just gonna go search for one on Google and here we can find one on GitHub and what we want to do is save it into a text file. Okay, now that we have it in a text file, we can start coding, and for this project, we're going to be using C++. And with every C++ program, we start with using namespace std, which of course stands for sexually transmitted disease. We're going to be storing our entire list of words in a data structure called a map, which will allow us to look up any element in our list hella fast. So we're just going to add our entire list of words to our map and run it. And as you can see here, it's going through and making our map, and at the end, it's saying that we made it successfully. And now we're just gonna take the input from the user. And what we wanna do for any given board is we wanna be able to come up with all the possible combinations of letters, and then all we have to do is check if it's a valid word by checking if it's in our dictionary. And to do this, we're gonna be using something called recursion, which pretty much just means that the function that we use calls itself. And to traverse the entire board, we're gonna be using an algorithm called DFS, which of course stands for a uh, dingus fungus suck my nutsack. To test this, we're gonna be starting a new game and inputting our board. As you can see, it's going through and printing out all the possible combinations of letters given our board. Now what we have to do is check if a given combination is in our map, and then once we have a list of all our valid solutions, we want to sort the words from longest to shortest and then print out our answers. Okay, let's go ahead and try this. Okay, yeah, as you can see here it worked, we got some pretty long words like oleosity, leanest, and tannest. But the problem is that it took pretty long, like it took 33 seconds, which is like 3 times longer than I last. So we're gonna have to make this better. So the problem with our solver right now is that we have to go through and look at every single combination of letters given our board. And basically, that's just a fuck ton of combinations that we have to compute. And if we use a dictionary, there's really no way of us to tell whether or not to keep going on a given traversal. Like, let's say we have this board and we're on the traversal of NBD. Obviously, there's not going to be any words that start with NBD, so we shouldn't even keep looking on this traversal. What I mean is that we shouldn't even be computing if NBDT is a valid word, because we already know that that's going to be impossible. We can do this by using something called a try, which is just another way of storing our data of list of valid words. A try is pretty much just a tree that stores letters, and so if our dictionary was these four words, our try would look like this. Notice how words that start with the same letters are shared in the try. This way when we're going through our board and making our words, we know when to stop because we can just look at wherever we are in the try and look at our children or immediate nodes below us. If there's no children below us, then we know that there's no possible words that can be made with our prefix, so we can just stop looking, saving us a lot of computation. So in the code, instead of making our dictionary, we want to be making our try, and we have to be keeping track of if wherever we are in the try, if it makes a full valid word or not, so then we can check it later in our code. And here, instead of checking if our combination of letters in our traversal is a valid word in our dictionary, we want to be checking it in our try. And finally, like we said, when we're at the end of any branch in our try, we want to stop our traversal. Okay, yeah, so let's try it. And it actually solves our board in less than half a second, which is now less than when I last. 
So yeah, it gave us like over 190 words to use in the game, including some words that are just almost impossible to get in the game otherwise. Okay, so now we're gonna use it, and pretty much all we have to do is start the game and enter in our board. And then once we have all the solutions, we can just input it into our board. And pretty much the words depend on how good the board is, but for any board, the solver will give us the best words possible. And uh, yeah, we pretty much win every game, and that's pretty much it. If you want to use this yourself, you can go check out all the code that's in the GitHub. I'll leave it in the description, and there's instructions on how to use it and shit. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you liked the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Wow.